Well, Ryan, this time it's nearly 2,000 that is two dozen women that are demanding change at BISD. They claim they've been passed up professionally and shortchanged in pay, all because they're women. With roughly 7,700 employees, the Brownsville Independent School District is the largest employer in the city. Now, a group of 23 administrators and high-ranking employees claim they aren't being treated nor paid fairly by the district. Oh, Attorney Seattle, Judith Sadler is demanding Seattle, answers to grievances filed bad. claiming gender discrimination when it comes to pay and career advancement. There is a system that does not value women. They do not value the... The skills, the dedication, the resources that the women bring to these jobs. Sadler did not give us details or names, but did tell us that her clients have been passed up for positions that have been given to less qualified men and have not received to pay increases, as have their male counterparts over several years. Sadler claims Again, requests Sadler, for grievance hearings no have matter. lingered and nearly a year. Last week, she made a bold move bringing up the issues to school board members. Based Again, on the Powers, information we were provided today, is, it does not appear that we can resolve it at that right. level. This is a personnel okay. issue. Can now not be discussed in public. Um, get a date that you're talking about and what grievances you're talking about because as of right now none of the board of trustees know what you're talking about. We tracked down board member Kathy Presas Garcia. She says it was the first time she'd heard about the grievances and said she is quote devastated that she found out at a board meeting. One, either we're not being respected as leaders that we have to be aware of what's going on or two, administration is not doing their job. After administrators make recommendations, the school board has the final say in salary increase or hiring for certain positions. But as Garcia says, some school board members often do object to certain recommendations, but it comes down to a majority vote. And she argues that disparities aren't just between females and males. And I've seen it too where even there's been times that certain males get paid more than another male, and being that this male makes is in charge of three departments, but this male is only in charge of one department. BISD is the largest school district south of San Antonio and has a half billion dollar budget. Sadler says this issue is not about a lack of money. If there is no money to pay anyone these raises, fine. There's no money. But it is still not proper to discriminate and pay a male more money. Now, the school district did send a statement in which they say they are aware of the issue and are working to resolve it. Sadler tells us if BISD does not move quickly on this matter, the women will move forth and file a lawsuit. Of course, we'll keep you posted on what happens next. In the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News.